Welcome to the F1 2024 British Grand Predictions from me and Ajax. Welcome. Hello, 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 hello. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, it's, it's my home Grand Prix. Yeah, um, let's go. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I need mean, you was uh, on the British Grand Prix, like uh, personally, last year, pretty sure. So, uh, <laughs> I yeah. was, I was, I was at that Grand Prix last year. I'm not at it this year, sadly. Um, very jealous of all the people going because uh, it looks to be exciting, exciting weekend. Hopefully, uh, a lot closer. But actually, last year was decently close, but uh, hopefully, a lot more close than last year. Anyway. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely that. Um, obviously, we have some some news for. The Grand Prix, uh, one that we kind of expected uh, uh, with the new Haas signing. Do you want to take it? Yes, uh, so Haas uh, took the British Grand Prix as the best opportunity to do some incredible PR work. Uh, so <laughs> they uh, signed British driver Oli Berman, who is obviously an F2 currently. Uh, he uh, took over from uh, Carlos Sainz at the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix and did pretty decently. Uh, I think he came, what, sixth or seventh? Um, seventh. And, uh, yeah, he, he is now going to be a driver for the next season in Formula 1 uh, for the Haas team. Yeah. I can't remember. Have they announced their other driver? No, they have not. Yeah, that's the no. first driver that they announced. And they also right. announced uh, a multi-year deal for Berman, so it's not like the next year only. Yes, uh, that's true. It's a multi-year deal that they're already giving to a uh, well. The fact they're still a rookie because they only had one Grand Prix appearance with some practice session as well. But still, like you're giving a multi-year contact to a driver that's had only one Grand Prix. It's it's uh, showing some some great belief in Behrman and that has to boost his confidence through the roof. Like he's getting a multi-year deal before. Uh, actually, having a uh, race proper in from a one apart from one Grand Prix, so <laughs> yeah, um, definitely excited for for Oli. Uh, I think both of us were very impressed uh, with him yeah. uh, in Saudi Arabia. F- it, this year in F two isn't looking the greatest. Already one yeah. sprint, but still not not the greatest start. The Prima is struggling, and unfortunately. Uh, F two is not looking great, but still, he, he got a he got a, already he got a seat in the F one. He, he doesn't, he literally doesn't have to care. Can, can crash every single weekend for the remainder of the season and just <laughs> yeah, see you in F one. Alright, okay, um, that's it for for the news. I think um, yeah, pretty much. I don't think there is any major announcements of ones. Yep. Uh, we might get a shock one this weekend. I reckon we'll get another shock one this weekend at some point. Mm, yeah, could be interesting. Um, who's, the, who's the next driver you think gets signed? Uh, you don't have to specify the team they get signed for, but uh, the driver. Uh, had they announced um, the? Have they announced the Williams uh, youth from Mercedes yet? Mm, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, what's his name? Antonelli. Yes, has he been announced for the uh, Williams next year? I think I think actually we'll end up in the Mercedes probably. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, okay, okay. No, so. I think I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be announced for the, the Williams for instead of Logan Sargent. There you go. <laughs> uh, even for uh, for the remainder remainder of this season or the next? Week? Yes, yes, I do. All right. Uh, oh, that's that really very big news. Uh, I think those news could come up for Monza. Uh, that would be very interesting. Uh, same as for Oli for before the British Grand Prix. Obviously, um, I think there's F two uh, this this weekend as well. So yes. there's going to be a lot of a lot of uh, media presence around Oli, and yeah, he definitely deserves it. Anyways, um, all right, uh, getting to the British Grand Prix. Uh, so we can do some predictions on the of the well. Um, Still one of the better racetracks around the on the calendar, especially as soon as we have the tracks like Miami uh, on the on the calendar. So um. it certainly proved to be entertaining the last few years uh, for sure. Whether yeah. it was uh, 
the Max Hamilton crash situation back in 2021, uh, or, uh, for example, last year, uh, Lando getting pole, uh, which was huge, or the, the of course, creme de la creme, uh, free Ghost Hamilton, which uh, is absolutely a sound bite that will always play in my head. <laughs> a lot of great memorable moments from Silverstone throughout the, right, uh, throughout the, throughout the past years. Uh, obviously, in my opinion, Silverstone is, is not an easy track to overtake at, but it's, it's an yeah. easy track to follow at. So you, you can, it's, it's fairly easier to follow a car on this track than, for example, in uh, like uh, Miami, for example, right? Like a lot of uh, weird corners that a lot of dirty air, but Silverstone, it's, it's like you could take, take a little different line, undercut the, the, the other car and get a good, uh, uh, entry or not entry uh, the exit from the corner and it's just a lot about the different lines that you can take and it's very interesting to that matter like the the arizonas aren't that long like i think there are two and only one actually uh with some overtakes so yeah um that's silverstone i think i think it's a try that deserves to stay on the calendar especially over some <laughs> other tracks <laughs> absolutely and yeah i think yeah, that's, that's pretty much my, my, I haven't been at the Silverstone, I haven't been to UK uh, as well, so uh, I can judge, but it looks like a track that I could visit sometime in the future, definitely. Right. Uh, when it's going to start with the predictions, um, uh, again, going from P5 to P1, uh, so we can build up the excitement. Yes, I think it's your turn. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, I'm yeah. I'm going in fully unprepared. I have no prediction set, so it's going to be full vibe, spontaneous I prediction. I have a prediction. <laughs> yeah, okay, good for you. Probably gonna oh, uh, extend the lead. <laughs> Let's say like that. Um, my P five would be hmm. actually I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Lewis for P five cool part. Lewis Hamilton for P5. I think Mercedes are going to keep up with a pretty strong pace. Uh, the third fastest team uh, now. So, yeah. I, I have a really controversial one because uh, we talked about him quite a bit. I think Perez is going to weirdly get into the P5 in qualifying. That's, uh, no, that's so bold. Like, it's, I know it's bold. Because, you know, you can, you can feel like P4 he's, or P6. He's, he's and, terrible. He's yeah. been absolutely awful. Rages. He's like, like one of the drivers, like out of the top eight. Uh, he's like the, the driver with the least, least, least amount of chance to finish P five, maybe other than Max. So, uh, it's, a, it's a very bold pick. And to be fair, if, if you get it right, great for you. Like you deserve the point. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, P four is George Russell. Series four five. Uh, meeting their form in qualifying, or at least the top five form, and gonna be a, a double top five qualifying for Mercedes. Uh, I'm also going to put Pete Russell in P4. All right. Uh, I think it'll be good this weekend. Uh, I have realized I I feel like I'd exactly copy you if I didn't put, if I didn't pick that Paris pick based on what you're doing currently. So uh, we shall see as we keep going. <laughs> okay, okay. Might be free. Uh, this is gonna be uh, well, uh, maybe I don't know if as bull as your pro aspect, but definitely after the past few weekends, uh, you could say that it shouldn't be the case. Lionel is P free, only P free. He's okay. Good. Yep. Okay, we are going to be different. <laughs> yeah, he, he got pole in Spain. Got P two in Austria. I think we got P two. Oh, actually, I only got P3 or P4 in uh, Monaco, but yeah, um, and P2 in Canada, obviously. Oh, no, actually, P3, because uh, Max and Russell got the same time, but you know what I mean. Like, he's been very good in qualifying for the past few weekends, so P3 is, well, yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe a bit lower than yeah. you'd expect. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right, I am going to go with Piastri for P3. In my predictions, uh, I think he's going to be very quick this weekend. I think the McLarens as a whole will be very quick. This uh, race suits them down to the T, uh, especially last year where they really just 
absolutely killed this race. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, even more surprising for me, Max or step in P2. Another pole position. That's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. for another driver. <laughs> Yeah, I <laughs> probably know which driver I'm going to pick, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer, I'm a, I'm, I'm a hopium, I don't care, I'm going to put Max in P2, and he's probably going to get pulled by half a second, but I don't care. Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, oh. I'm also going for the Sappen. I'm oh, already in my end. Wow. I'm also going for Verstappen. Um, wow. This is interesting. But, but we're going to have different P1s. Uh, so that's at least at least going to be different. I actually want, like, I actually wanted to go for Mercedes. Like, literally, I want to go for Mercedes just because of it. Like, imagine a, a Lewis Hamilton pull around Silverstone in 2024. Oh, that would be wild. But, yeah, I don't yeah, I don't, I don't quite feel like they have the pace in qualifying uh, for that. So I'm going to put, put my boy Piastri in his first pole position in his career. It's the second time I'm, I'm actually putting him. Last time he was one half a second slower. So hopefully this time, he, last year he was great. It, it, with half the upgrades or uh, with not the complete upgrade package, he qualified P3 a couple of times behind the pole position, I think. Very close to Lando. So. This is a track that he knows. He knows how to drive fast and he knows how to be close to Lando. Hopefully um, this, this this weekend can um, happen. <laughs> and I am going for Norris. As I say, I think the McLarens will be really quick around this track. They absolutely dominated around it last year. So I'm expecting those cars to be getting in the points quite highly. Uh, and yeah, so very, very excited about this weekend uh, and their chances. All right, all right. Um, the qualifying, are we going to the Grand Prix now? Actually, we can start with the fastest lap because that's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, my fastest lap will be Lewis Hamilton. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, I'd very much like to put Hamilton as well, but I don't want to be a dick. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you know, I need points over you, but I actually already have more unlikely predictions than you, so <laughs> yes, yes, uh, makes sense too. Uh, on to the race, your P5, good sir. Okay, uh, my P5 for the Grand Prix will be George Russell, P5. Okay, well. You're going to see some utter craziness from me. Uh, I'm going to put science in pizza. Okay, uh, I didn't expect a Ferrari there. Wow. Mm -hmm. get, get ready. Especially get with us. Perez in P5, I actually thought uh, the yeah, top six is pretty much set. Well, uh, obviously, I'm going to respect your prediction and wish you the best. Obviously, I wish my predictions come true. <laughs> but yeah, well, good prediction from. From science, so uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, B four, B four, B four, my B four, my B four is uh, not 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 enough tension with Hamilton. Um, I'm just gonna switch around and see. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I kind of hope that so I can dodge the Russell B four kind of. Uh, my P5 gonna be controversial. P4. My P4, sorry, my P4 gonna be controversial. I'm going for PS. Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. It's not that far off mine. Play like that because mm -hmm. I have PS room on, on in P3. You do in pole. But okay, after being in pole. Yep. Um. I'm just not really sure about the power management. Still, I, I feel like. I feel like Max is going to jump in on the start and P Norris is going to overtake Piastri on pace and then try to catch Max. I think it's going to be like like that. I don't know. I really would love to see Piastri like higher up, but yeah, P3 is the most realistic opinion. I'm going to keep with that. 
Uh, we have P4 is uh, it's pretty close to that one, so I'm George. Uh, yeah, 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 fair enough. Uh, again, controversial time. Uh, I'm going to go for Hamilton in P3. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a nice one. That would be, that would be great, actually. Yes, uh, yes. British Grand Prix. Yeah. Yeah, um, P2. P2. Lana Norris. <laughs> I know, I know. I should be more, more optimistic, but I just, uh, it's, it's gonna end up that way. I don't feel, I feel like Matt and Lana is gonna be able to keep up with Max this weekend. I think Red Bull are bringing upgrades as well. So we could very well see Red Bull being dominant again, but hopefully not. Uh, in my P2, I'm going to put Lando, uh, not Lando, I'm going to put Russell, George Russell, P2. Oh, okay, okay. So you're having either Norris or Max not in, <laughs> not in the top five. Yeah, both. Both? Okay. Yeah, both. Okay, so Valshri well, Bottas win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, might be one. Gonna, uh, it's it already, uh, Max Verstappen for the oh broken win. Gosh. Yeah, <laughs> such a shock. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, you finish B5 to be fair, like last weekend. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty bold to be fair. <laughs> like, someone who can finish P5, that's like, for P1, that's probably not very realistic, right? And, uh, for me, okay, kill it. <laughs> I'm going to put. The one, the only, Norris. The Norris in the Where? MP1, the dream! Actually. The British podium in the British Grand Prix. Ugh. I can't wait for it to happen. Dude, I actually expected Valtteri to be there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Where's Max? Where, where's Max? I, I, gotta, I gotta hear it. Uh, I, I think he's not finishing. Ooh, okay. Uh, see some interesting uh, fight at the at the front because uh, yeah, Lando and Max starting. Could we see some uh, weird moves at the cops uh, <laughs> with Red Bull uh, in the in the wall? Could perhaps? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that might be it. That yeah. might be it. Yeah, hopefully not as uh, as. Uh, no, as I think he's alright. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the more, most important thing because obviously last time Max was sent to hospital. Which, which is something we don't really want to see, um, especially that was a year after Grosjean's crash. So we still had that in memories, and we we cared about our drivers at the time. Right now, I don't really feel like there's been a crash that was like, yeah, oh my god, it's not really safe. But uh, still, a crash wouldn't be that big of a deal because these cars are pretty safe. But we obviously don't want to. Uh, wish any bad luck on any drivers, especially in terms of health. Yeah. Okay, um, he's an impressive driver. Mm, my opinion is Charles Leclerc, and I don't really want to see this happening, but I feel like he's going to continue on that Ferrari downfall uh, in terms of the past few races. It's going to have another stinger. Fair enough, fair enough. That's interesting. I, I, I like that pick, may I say. I, uh, I I think that's a good pick. Uh, <laughs> ooh, my least impressive driver. I haven't thought about this that much. Um, well, I see Max uh, not finishing the top five. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go for him. Well, let's go for it. Max, Max is the least impressive driver. If that actually works out, that'll be the happiest point I'm giving my open, op- opponent the opponent that... <laughs> wow. Well, uh, <laughs> I'll be very happy to give you the point there, let's see, like that. Uh, Alright, um... Wait, actually, we did the least impressive try. <laughs> did the least impressive team, and we swapped it. I know, oops. Uh, oopsie, uh, least impressive team. Um... Hmm. I have an easy answer for this. I'm gonna go with a team that was bad in in in, in Spain. It was a pretty similar tracks. So I'm gonna go with Torosso for, for the... Yeah, 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 good pick, good pick. For us, for at least a person team. Uh, I'm going with the French team because, of course, we're in Britain. Uh, so uh, I'm going with Alpine. <laughs> of course, we're in Britain. I mean, we've heard 
their track record on Silverstone is awful. I <laughs> so pretty good pick there. It's the most impressive team for my side. I'm going the opposite, Alpine. Um, mostly based on uh, Spain. That's a pretty similar track to this one. Like, I feel like they're gonna use the the momentum that they scored in the like past four or five weekends, and they're gonna be some some uh, they're gonna be some point scorers from Alpine this weekend. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, I can't believe you picked that team. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, McLaren because uh, I think they might actually get P1, P2. Obviously, I didn't predict that, but I think that is a likelihood. Maybe I'm meaning a bit with the full British uh, <laughs> British uh, winners. Yeah. I, I, I do think McLaren are going to be the quickest car this weekend. I mean, yeah, full, full British podium <laughs> on the British Grand Prix. That's so interesting, but um, I, I wouldn't be against that, honestly. I wouldn't. Um, yeah, most impressive driver. That's I would be probably gonna pick a an LP driver, but which one? Cause I went up with Gasly, uh, in Spain, or it wasn't like Spain. It was last time in Austria, and Alcon actually, I think I think was the better driver. So maybe I should swap it around. I don't know. Um, it's not very difficult with those two because. Obviously, Gasly and Ocon, they're so interchangeable. They're extremely close in the team and pairing. It's very difficult to judge. Hmm, I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna put a Piastri for the most impressive. I'm gonna believe in uh, my Piastri pole position. I'm actually gonna win the race by 30 seconds. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> That's fair enough, okay. Okay. Yeah, actually, winning like thirty seconds. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, okay. No, I, I do agree. Like, I, I think, I think you bring good points. I think he's, he's, he's very, he's shown last year he's very good around this track. Obviously, he ended up being picked to the post by Hamilton, but uh, yeah, he's really. He, it was the first race where I was sort of poked my head out and went, "Oh, okay." Um, when it came to him, so uh, yeah, I think that's a good choice. I'm going to go for Hamilton. Oh, okay. And, uh, funny. Yeah, but, Woody, uh, you predicted I'm better, lower than Russell in both sessions. <laughs> I, I'm just covering all my bases. Yeah, that's, that's true. I, you could pick Max for the most impressive driver at that point. You know, most impressive or least impressive kind of covers a lot. Uh, yeah, it's very difficult to give Max the most impressive driver. So... Maybe in Austria, actually, like uh, if he would have like won the Grand Prix without a bad pit stop, I think he would be one of the contenders for the most impressive drivers that weekend in Austria. But it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, okay. Actual prediction. Okay. Last time I was I was so off. I actually believed in the weather. Uh, this time I'm actually not gonna put anything weather related. Well, gonna. Put in, um, okay, that's probably not bold enough. Hmm. Are you actually putting in? Um, I, yeah, I, got, I have no idea what to go for extra bowl. I wanted to go for Perez points, but <laughs> you would not give me, uh, allow me I'm that. I'm giving you Perez points. <laughs> <laughs> He's not good at this race. He's not terrible. Well, yeah, it's okay. What What if I go for Perez Hupri? <laughs> No, it's still, again, he's he's good at he's good at the British Grand Prix. He's proven so in the past. All right, all right, all yeah, right. Maybe not last year. Actually, okay. it's pretty terrible. Okay, I'm not gonna um, go for Perez. I'm gonna go for something that I went for in Spain. Um, okay, this is probably stupid, but I'm gonna go with uh, Ricardo beats Sonoda in all competitive sessions. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he outqualifies him and. Beats him in the race. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and I'm gonna go for. Hmm. Well. Logan Sargent Grand Prix wins. 
Uh, one goal. Uh, car DNFs in the first lap. A car, like at least one, right? Any, any of them. Yeah. Any okay. Of them. Okay. So one plus. So any one any plus. number. Yeah. Okay. So, but but if a car gets damage on lap one, the DNFs up lap two. That doesn't count, right? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. The, the, if they the, manage to make a run. The, I'm, I'm thinking we've obviously had that crash that... Uh, I can't remember which driver it was. Was it Sonoda had that crash in the first lap? Who uh, was it? The, the Guan, Yu, the Guan Yu Zhou, I think. That was uh, him getting upside down in the barrier. Yeah. Yeah, Guan yeah, Yu Zhou. We, had that. we obviously had Max Verstappen uh, crash a few years ago. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it, it, it happens. Yep, yep. I should also put, I probably, this is another prediction, I won't put, uh, but I, I think there'll be protesters uh, on the track. <laughs> Please, no. Uh, it's, no, yeah. But I don't want to put that out in the world, so I'm not putting it in my predictions. Yeah, yeah if that happens, hopefully no one gets hurt uh, in the first place, because uh, it's very dangerous to to do that. I, I don't understand these people. Um, yeah, again, okay. uh, car plus DNFs in the first lap. So we have, we have, have to have full 20 cars who start the Grand Prix get across the finish line at least once. Okay. That's, that's a good one. All right. Uh, good predictions there. And we're going to wrap this up, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, hopefully we can have a exciting weekend, uh, with your, with your podium, that would be definitely exciting, but <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a bit less optimistic about this one, but you never know what can happen. We just had a George Russell win, so uh, let's uh, let's hope for excitement. And yeah, British Grand Prix like this weekend. Okay. Um, any final thoughts? Uh, I hope that uh, I hope it's a British one to two for it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... So I would really want it to happen just just to hear a reaction <laughs> in the in the reaction I video. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you you would be you would be like over the moon completely. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Um yeah, it is so happy. <laughs> next next year's gonna be a British one, two, three, four. Am I right, Ellie Burn? Let's go. Imagine a house of people, or maybe Alex, P1, you know. Alex, right. well, you count as well. It'd be one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be, that'd be one of a kind of a Grand Prix result. Okay, uh, wrapping this up, uh, thank you everyone who's been watching our videos. It's a lot of fun to do. And see you in the next one. Uh, it will be the reaction to the British Grand Prix next weekend. Uh, next week, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, see you, everyone. Peace. Oh, <laughs> I just didn't like you. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs>